Hi, I'm Paolo Pialorsi, and I'm a proud member of the European SharePoint community. In this video, you will learn how to consume the REST APIs from SharePoint Designer 2013 workflows. Before moving to the real content of this video, let me introduce myself briefly. I'm a consultant, a project manager, and a trainer. I achieved more than 40 Microsoft certifications, including the Microsoft Certified Solution Master Chapter SharePoint, and I'm focused on SharePoint since the beginning. I wrote about 10 books, most of them for Microsoft Press, and I'm a speaker at the main IT conferences all over the world. But now, let's move to the real topic of this video. Let's think about the out-of-the-box available actions and conditions that you have in SharePoint Designer 2013 when you create custom workflow solutions. You have actions to check in an item, check out uh, an item, or to create a list item, delete it, or even update it. You can uh, send an email, uh, you can uh, do calculations, or you can even call an HTTP web service. But there are still a lot of uh, actions that you should need and which are not available out of the box uh, in uh, SharePoint 2013. So what can you do to solve this kind of issue? Luckily, we have the SharePoint 2013 REST APIs, which allow us to invoke the client-side object model of SharePoint using a set of REST and HTTP-based requests. Let's say we have a web application hosting a site collection. Well, if you happen the underscore API uh, trailer to the very end of the site collection URL, you can then access any of the uh, REST API available namespaces, which can be namespaces to access the current website, the current site collection, the current context, the search engine, and stuff like that. And through each of the available API namespaces, you will be able to invoke objects to uh, set or get their properties to call indexers and to browse through indexers and to invoke methods which are available and provided by the client object model. So using this REST-based API, you will be able, using the call HTTP web service uh, action available in SharePoint 2013 Designer, to invoke any of the available APIs. So let me show you, using SharePoint Designer 2013, how you can customize and extend workflows using the REST APIs. So let's move to the demo environment, and let me open the web browser to browse to a target SharePoint Online website, which is this one, uh, pierorsi.sharepoint.com slash site slash workflow. Let me log in using my SharePoint uh, Online and Office 365 credentials. And let me show you that inside of uh, this target uh, SharePoint Online site, I have a document library called Documents with uh, five documents inside of it. So now let's play with the REST APIs to browse for these documents. First of all, if you uh, happen the underscore API trailer just after the URL of your target site, and for instance, you want to retrieve some information about the current website, you can query the underscore API web endpoint. Through this endpoint, you can see you have a bunch of available endpoints to access some of the information of your website, like, for instance, uh, the role assignments, the all properties of the web, the app tiles, and many other information available. Let's say you want to access the list of all the available lists and libraries defined in this website. You can do that using the lists um, URL, relative URL. Well, inside the list of all the lists and the libraries, let's say we want to retrieve a reference, a specific reference to the document library called documents. We can do that using the method getByTitle, which is available through the client side object model and providing it the document, which is the title of the target document library. This way, we have access to the XML representation of the information of the most useful information about the document library called documents. But as you can imagine, the most important information of a document library are the documents inside the library. So through the items relative URL, 
we can access the list of all the available items, which are the SP list items, available in the target document library. We can access any specific item using the indexer, this indexer, for instance, or we can access all the items, eventually making a projection in order to retrieve only a few of the information available for each item. For instance, if you open question mark, uh, dollar select uh, equal ID and title, you will be able to retrieve only the ID and the title of each and every document available in the target document library. And so far, through the web browser, we are getting an XML response inside of our browser. Let me start Fiddler, and let me show you how you can do using uh, a bunch of uh, custom HTTP headers. So let me refresh this request using Fiddler. And let me show you through Fiddler that right now we have an XML response. Now let me move to the composer of Fiddler and let me drag and drop the request we have just made. Let me change the accept HTTP header in order to accept application slash JSON and all data verbos. If you Try to execute again this request. As you can see now, the response, if you double click on it, is a JSON response, which will be really useful within SharePoint Designer, as well as within any um, piece of code which is capable to consume JSON content. For instance, like jQuery, JavaScript, uh, any uh, JavaScript single page application or stuff like that. Here you can see I have a list of results where each and every result provides me the ID and the title of the documents available in the target document library. Now let's go back to the web browser and to the contents of the target website. We have under the Site Workflows section a workflow which allows us to browse exactly the same documents in that document library. Let me start the workflow using the web interface and in a few seconds, by refreshing this page, we will have the workflow running for the current site. Here it is, and by clicking on it, you will be able to see that the workflow is browsing all the items available in the target document library, and it is writing in the workflow history the item ID and the item title. Okay, so let me show you how you can do that using SharePoint Designer. Let's move to SharePoint Designer and let's open the list of uh, workflows available in the target site. As you can see, we have the sample REST API file browser workflow that we have just executed. And by right clicking on it and going to edit the workflow, you can see that the workflow definition is made of a few steps. First of all, the workflow definition defines the workflow status as the starting items enumeration status. Then I define a dictionary, a dictionary of items, which will be the dictionary of HTTP headers that I will provide during the HTTP request targeting the REST APIs. And this action is the build dictionary action in which I define an accept header, an accept item with a value of application JSON or data verbos, which is exactly the same value I provided inside Fiddler a few seconds ago. Then I use an HTTP, a call HTTP web service action, providing the URL of the REST API that we have just used inside the browser and inside of Fiddler in order to retrieve the ID and the title of all the items in the target library, which is the documents library, using an HTTP GET request. Moreover, under the properties of this uh, action, I provide also the request headers targeting the HTTP request headers variable that I've just built using the build dictionary action. I also get the response content inside an HTTP response content variable, which is defined in the target workflow. As you can see, in the local variables of the workflow, I have a bunch of variables defined, including the request headers and the response code content and headers. Well, because the response content will be a JSON response, I can use the get 
uh, action uh, to retrieve from a JSON object the results and the items I want to browse through. So what I do is to get the D slash results, which is the entry point inside the JSON array of objects in order to retrieve all the items inside the library. And I put the output of this get action inside a variable called items, which again is a local variable of my workflow definition and which is still a dictionary. Then I can simply count the items inside the dictionary and I can also do a for each loop through the items and I can use again the get action to retrieve any of the specific items based on their index. So I retrieve the item number one, number two, number three and so on and I place the output which is the ID or the title of each item, of the current item in the for each loop, in order to log to the uh, workflow history the title and the ID of the item I've just discovered. Just after that, I go to the end of the workflow. So as you can see, using the out of the box available actions like the build dictionary, the call HTTP web service, or the get uh, in order to retrieve an item from a dictionary, I can browse through JSON content and I can use the call HTTP web service to invoke the REST APIs provided by SharePoint. Using this way of working, I can extend greatly the out-of-the-box available engine of SharePoint Designer and I can create real-life workflows using a bunch of JSON and HTTP requests. So, I want to thank you for attending this uh, uh, brief webinar. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will like the contents and you will use them in your real life uh, projects. Thanks again and thanks for enjoying the European SharePoint community.